Hello there and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to try to recreate um, plant versus zombies. Let's get started. Okay, so let's uh, run the example file. And um, I completed this example in about 10 minutes. Alright. Now we're not gonna build the whole game, obviously. Uh, but after watching this video you should have a pretty good idea how you can get started creating your own plant versus zombies. Okay, so let's get started and uh, we are going to begin by opening the example file. You can find that in the description below. Um, let me walk you through this file. It is the uh, pea shooter and this has only a launching animation. It's really bad because I couldn't find the real uh, sprites. Uh, same as the zombie. His, uh, his walking animation is just terrible, but he will do it for now. His, uh, his disappearing animation. Okay. Now these three zombies in the back, uh, they're just uh, markers. Alright, here's the uh, first zombie maker, second and third. And they all have different icons. Okay, so you don't get confused in the event editor. Okay. Um, okay, so let's uh, go to the event editor. Okay, so let's begin by setting a uh, a couple of conditions. If the um, orange object or the first sensor is overlapping the uh, pea shooter, and um, if that's overlapping a zombie as well, every um, one point. 30 milliseconds we are going to shoot an object this pearl in this direction Let's set the speed to 30 and um, let's make these zombies uh, bouncing balls here is the uh, initial direction speed 2 let's run this and you can already see things happening here. The plant uh, is now shooting at the zombie. If the um, uh, the pearl comes in contact with the zombie, we want to destroy it. Straight out. That works fine. Let's uh, copy this action and let's replace it by the blue bar or the blue sensor, which is uh, this one here, which is just a picture. Okay. Um, that should work fine. Let's uh, do the same thing for the um, purple object. Straight out. And that seems to work not too bad. Um, to increase the range, you can simply drag this uh, out a bit more. If you want the, uh, the plants to shoot the zombies as soon as they come into the screen. Now, every time we hit a zombie with one of these, we want to add one to his um, alterable value, A. Okay. Uh, once his um, alterable value has reached, um, say, three or greater, we can destroy the zombie. Try it out. Okay, that seems to work fine. Let's create more zombies. Every um every three seconds and some milliseconds. Let's create more zombies.
uh, the first one from this from this location and um, I guess we can create uh, three zombies all at once let's try this out A few moments later. Twelve seconds later. Twenty minutes later. Six hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. And that seems to work fine. Alright. Um Maybe in the next video we can fix the uh, the timing for the uh, for the zombies for so this spawn a little better, okay? And maybe we can create uh, more of these pea shooters interactively during the game. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, uh, don't forget. See you next time.